How is everybody doing today? Kane Finance back with another video. BNGO, what do we know? Um, so we're talking about BNGO today and kind of where I think it's gonna go and what I think lies in the future in the short term as well as the long term. Um, but before all that, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. I think we're at 99 subscribers right now. So just need that one more and we'll be golden with that 100, baby. Alrighty, so BioNano was definitely affected by the recent events that caused you know, the market to kind of just, I mean, it's not even a crash, because if it was a crash, it would look very similar to how the market looked in early February of last year, or not early February, late February of last year. Um, but no, it just, didn't affect it like that some companies more than others yes like tesla i mean it just dipped down a whole lot more but if we go and look at um kind of like an s p 500 etf it's not even a whole lot so it's just a little bit of a correction and it'll pretty much phase out within like a month or so and when we look back at graphs it's not even gonna look like much but we're, you know we're talking about bngo right now so BNGO is sitting at 10.02 pre-market. You know, it's almost eight o'clock. Um, but you know, it, it definitely dipped down very low into 8.71 on February 30, 22nd, or sorry, 23rd. So it has potential to go down a little bit more. We can see that, um, but also has major potential going up. You know, if you buy hundred shares now, and you go up and hit its high, you've made $500 because it's been, high was $15. So we can work with that. Um, it's always good to have a place to go to whenever you're getting into a new stock. Um, but yeah, let's go to kind of some news here. So I featured other news articles from BioNano's website, like their investor page. Uh, I featured it in my last video, so we're gonna kind of get up to date with the only one that's new and it's was published today, Monday, March 1st, 2021. Uh, BioNano to be featured at AGBT 2021 with presentations of scientific discoveries made with sapphire and psychiatric disorders and cancers. Now, fantastic. Good news is always good news. So the sapphire system has always been kind of remarkable and it, it is their center point they do other things, but Sapphire is their main focus. How can we get Sapphire to be as productive as possible, efficient, and what can we do with it? They're always doing something different with it, and it's always, like, good news. So this will kind of give investors some greater news towards BioNano, kind of get people drawn to it because of what they can do. Um, it's not going to be a catalyst per se, but it's just going to spread more awareness and just get people bigger investors because I mean, if you're going to these like conventions, which I believe it, it is a convention, um, you know, they're gonna have kind of big pockets sometimes. So that is that is something to look forward to. Um, but I would not say if as it does happen, I'm not gonna say it's gonna just shoot up because it's not really a catalyst. A catalyst would be a breakthrough in medical science that you know has been done before because it is a breakthrough but you know maybe they present it at agb or yeah, agbt so we'll see when that happens um they're oh it's today so that's cool if y'all want to tune in it's today at uh 10 30 a.m eastern eastern standard time so that's pretty cool. That's when that all starts. And it kind of goes to like 5.45 p.m. And then it kicks back uh, Tuesday. So that's pretty cool. So for the future of BioNano, we kind of talked about just, you know, what's kind of going on in present day, but it's like, but the future of BioNano. So I do have an option, a bingo call option, bingo. Buy an anacall option. 
Um, it's a it's a sell call. It's at fifteen dollars. Um, I don't know how much I got for it in premium. I think it was around the fifty dollar range. So that's pretty cool. But you know, that's a pretty good price to set. I mean, you have a crazy jump that you need to go through. It's like a fifty percent jump from ten to fifteen. You know, you have to. It's a it's a very large jump for them to make. So that is a really good call for them. And I got it when it was, I think around $12, 12 or 13, maybe perhaps even $14. And I was like, okay, let's just get a little bit in so I could get some money out and put it back into another stock. But, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen. But at the same time, I would not mind if it went up to $15. You know, that's that'd be really cool. But so in the long term, you know, I feel like this stock could be worth 50 if, cause I mean, they really just started kind of making moves. I mean, they were published in, you know, 2008, kind of in August. So they haven't been around, not 2008, but 2018, they haven't been around that much. So for them to create this almost new technology, better technology, a lot more efficient, it's smaller and you can have use of it pretty much everywhere. In the industrial space, hospitals, urgent cares, little pediatric centers, you can pretty much have this anywhere and have it not be like a separate room, like an MRI machine. Um, but yeah, it's super malleable. So with that being said, like it's, Usage is just off the charts. It's honestly kind of cheap um, when we're talking about just genome um, prices. So that's something that BioNano has going for it. It's just super efficient and cost effective. So for what, what they need to do is just make some sort of big breakthrough that leads to solutions in the future. It doesn't even have to be need a solution now but if they find something that's really important, kind of like the key to life or something, man, we could see the stock shooting up past $50. So that's pretty much what I think. We had news, short term, and then long term, and where I want to see it and kind of the catalyst that really is going to boost it up. So if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Ken Finance. We are so close to 100. We just need one more. Just one more. I can't find it out.